Hello Jazzytopians and welcome back to my channel. Don't you wanna vibe? Just one more time, baby. Don't you miss having me by your side? Where we used to ride? Where we used to ride all night? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's great to see you guys here. And I know you thought I couldn't do it, but here I am, three videos in and improving my 2021 already. Y'all, I have set a few goals for the rest of this year that I want to achieve by December 2021. And I'm really excited about those goals. I am going to do it. I'm not gonna share them uh, yet because, you know, I don't like the idea of people praying against me, people hating on me, and I'm not saying specifically there are people doing that but you know you never know so i'm not going to share my goals just yet as i achieve them i'll elaborate on them but just know i have three really maybe four significant main goals that i have by the end of 2021 and i plan on achieving them i plan on surpassing my expectations and it's just really important to me to set goals so i wanted to share that with you guys real quick and tell you that you should set some goals too because when you set goals, when you envision the life that you want for yourself, it's there, you already have it, you just have to work towards it. And it makes it a lot easier to achieve when you know what you want. Anyways, you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of body shaming. <laughs> and today we're gonna talk about outside body shaming and people on the outside looking in at you and what they have to say about you and their not so nice opinions of your body. First things first, um, I think outside body shaming really depends on how you gauge um, other people's opinions because some of us can take that tough love. Some of us are like, oh, well, you said this, I'm gonna go be better. My brother is like that. People constantly talk trash to him, talk about what he can't do, what he can't be, what he can't achieve. He takes that, he grinds harder and he's living his best life right now. He's doing, he's doing everything he dreamed about right now. He's playing college football. He's about to transfer to a D2 college and play college football for them. And that's a dream of RJ's is to play college ball. And he's living his dream right now, despite what anybody else says. So proud of my brother. And that's one example of how you can take trash talking, how you can take um, outside criticisms and turn it to work for you. For me, I do not like being criticized. I do not like being trash talked. I do not like being shamed at all. I am a very fragile hearted person and it doesn't take a lot to make me cry. And I'm being honest here, like I don't wanna sound like I'm weak or like I'm not strong or like I'm sensitive because I'm not, number one, I don't respond to a lot of stuff because I don't wanna be disrespectful. But number two, I don't respond to a lot of stuff because it really hurts me. And I don't, I don't respond well to that kind of thing. So if you're anything like me, this video might really, really resonate with you. I'm not saying it won't resonate with you otherwise, but if you're really the type of person who's like, I do not like being criticized. I don't think anybody likes being criticized, you know, at all to a certain extent. <laughs> but if you really are that person who's like, please don't talk to me about myself because I'm in a really fragile state, I feel like this video is for you. And if, it's, if you're not in a really fragile state, I still feel like you should watch the video because I'm gonna give you some really great pointers on how to deal with outside body shaming and really just how to love yourself through it all. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you guys so much and let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about with this outside body shaming, and I feel like it really needs to be addressed, is insecurities. <laughs> And I'm not just talking about our own insecurities. I'm talking about the insecurities coming from everybody else in the world. I say world because we're all on social media and we all know that everyone has access to everyone through social media. And that can be so great sometimes, you know, being able to talk to people across the world, seeing other cultures, seeing diversity, but we all know the truth about social media. It can be so damaging and detrimental to our own self-worth, our own self-image, and we can let it really get to us and mess with our heads. I know we've all had that one experience where we've commented on something and someone's come back at us with something else, or we've posted a picture and someone said something nasty to us, and it's it sucks, it's unnecessary, but it happens because there's people out there that are unhappy with themselves. And what you have to understand is the self-love that you have, the self, 
motivation that you have, the self-worth that you have on yourself, the worth that you place on your own self, on your own body, on your own life. Other people may not have that. And that's why I'm doing this because I want people to know that you can gain that. You can get that for yourself. Like it's not the end of the world if you feel insecure, like you have to bring other people down with you. My mom used to tell me all the time, you know, misery loves company. And it does, it does love company. But you don't have to be miserable. Other people don't have to be miserable. But most of all, you don't have to let other miserable people affect you and your plan, your goals, your ambition. Next time somebody says something nasty to you in the comment section, just tell them you love them. I know um, it's really, it's been a thing, kill them with kindness. But I feel like a lot of us don't actually kill people with kindness. We have a lot of rebuttal. We have a lot of strife. We have a lot of fight back. And, you know, I watched this video um, from Haley and she was just like are you too confrontational and i know a lot of people who are too confrontational and i'm not going to say any names but i used to be one of those people i used to have something to say for everything and you know people will be like chas why don't you stick up for yourself why don't you stand up for yourself and it's not a matter of standing up for myself it's a matter of knowing that i'm worth more than what this person is trying to value me as i know that i'm not a loser i know i'm not a lame ass i know i'm not weak I know I'm strong, I know I'm beautiful, I know I'm courageous, and I don't need anybody to tell me that. And if you wanna bring me down, clearly you have your own issues, you know? I wish you the best, I'm sending you love, I'm praying for you, but I can't value myself anymore on what other people say. I saw a post and it was like, I kept telling people how they were hurting me till I realized they didn't care. And that's so true. You can only say so much. You can only say so many times, this bothers me. This is hurting me. This is not good for my mental health. And if people aren't listening, it's time to cut those people loose and let them go and not worry about what they think about you and only worry about what you think about you and how you're loving you. Because at the end of the day, you are all you have. You're stuck with yourself. You are. And you have to put yourself first. You can't let what other people say to you bring you down constantly. Okay, so the alternative to people with strong opinions about you, um, not really the alternative to people who have strong opinions about you, but the alternative to people who have negative opinions about you is people who care about you. And sometimes those people who care about you can turn into those people who have negative things to say about you, but not intentionally. And that's what I wanna talk about is the people who care about you, who wanna see you do better, but the way they're delivering their message to you is not screaming i love you i care about you i want you to be better it's really screaming look at you you're a mess you need to get your life together i'm talking about those interventions that you just happen to walk into i'm talking about those awkward family dinners where everybody has something to say about you i'm talking about all that weird stuff that your family friends and loved ones might spring on you at the wrong moment and there's a way to deal with it i've learned to deal with it um we have Sunday dinner every Sunday, duh, Sunday dinner. Okay, so it's me, my mom, my boyfriend, and my sister. And my brother is occasionally home. My brother, he just wants to see me live my best life. I know it. And it took me a long time to realize that he was just trying to give me tough love. And like I said, I don't respond to that well, but that's the way that RJ loves. So whenever he comes home, the conversation always just ends up being me, being this college dropout and how I could have been doing this on YouTube and I could have been losing weight already and I could have and it's hard not to cry in that moment because it just makes me feel so small and so crappy and I know he doesn't do it to make me feel that way I know he just wants to see me do better but there's a different way to address the issue and maybe not at the table in front of everybody it makes me feel just little you know but at the same time it makes me think He's right, you know, I can do better. But place and time definitely have a lot to do with your motivation and your lack of motivation. Especially if you've already made up in your mind, okay, I'm gonna start doing this. And then all of a sudden people wanna jump on your back like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Well, I was already planning to do that. And you know what happens when somebody tells you to do something that you're already gonna do, you don't wanna do it anymore. You're losing your motivation to do it because now you're like, well, pff, I was gonna do it on my own and surprise the f out of everybody, but now I can't because somebody already called me out on it and now they know they're going to think that they did that and that I didn't do that. That's what it is for me. They're going to think that they deserve the credit for the work that I put in and that's not okay with me. 
So how do we deal with this ambush uh, mechanism, this intentional but unintentional load of crap that people just throw on you all of a sudden? You deal with it the best you can. What I do is, you know, thank you for that suggestion, but I'm working on myself in my own way. And you have to find something you can say, some type of, not comeback, but some type of affirmation. It's a different type of affirmation. And thank you, but I'm already dealing with that on my own. Thank you, but I'm already working on that on my own. And just keep reminding yourself that you are already proactively working to better your life and to improve what other people are seeing. People who care about you don't have ill intentions most of the time. I know that my mom, she used to give me a hard time about my weight. And my grandma, she used to give me a hard time about my weight. But it was because they love me. But as I've gotten older, I have been able to learn more about my feelings and learn more about what I need and what makes me go as a person. And for you to tell me, you know, oh, you're a little on the chubby side or you need to lose some weight blatantly telling me that, it's like, it kind of hurt my feelings, you know? Whereas you could just be like, hey, let's go for a walk or hey, let's go do something active or let's go grocery shopping together. I wanna buy you some groceries, you know, show you what you can do to improve the way you're eating. And instead of doing that, it was just kind of like piling on, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that and not really nurturing and helping, which is why I've learned how to nurture and help myself because I know that's what I need. So when when tough stuff comes to you like that, when your family starts being critical, it, it doesn't even have to be body shaming. It can be like, oh, why don't you have a boyfriend yet? Or, oh, why haven't you moved out yet? When they start to be critical of you, just find a way to positively gauge that and redirect the conversation maybe into something else more lighthearted and something more appropriate for you to talk about at the time. You can even say blatantly, just tell them, you know, I'm working on this in my own personal way. I would just really appreciate if we could just talk about something else right now. You know, just divert the conversation. If they don't take well to that, just know that you know what you're doing. You know how you feel. And what I say a lot of times now is, okay, well, you cannot invalidate my feelings because that's how you feel. Don't invalidate my feelings because that's how you feel. And that's the most important thing for me right now, people invalidating my feelings based on what they think, what they think they know. And you just have to separate, you know, your anger and your resentment and your frustration from your positive outlook. You just take it as it comes. People are going to be critical of you your whole life. But how you take that and how you let it get to you or stick with you, it matters because it's either going to bring you down or it's going to push you to work harder. And so in some way, everybody has to take that tough love and turn it into positivity because that's the only way you're going to keep going. The last thing I wanted to mention about um, outside body shaming is really the unintentional body shaming. The jokes, the sarcasm, the funnies, you know, um, people laughing it off. I'm guilty, guilty, guilty of this. And this is, you know, it's going to, I'm going to talk about me being guilty of joking about my own weight and my own size or just my own appearance in general. And it's not okay, even if you're doing it to yourself. I know I had a friend call me out and I think about that every time I post a, oh, fat girl, or oh, I'm bigger, or whatever I say. I think about that every time she's like, stop with the body shaming, love yourself. And I think about that now, it's so important how we talk to ourselves. It's important how other people talk to us too. You don't want people making fat jokes about you. You don't want people talking trash and smack about you and you know, like I said, you have to take that as it comes because you can't really control what other people are saying about you, but how you can't let it bring you down. However, that's what I'm trying to say. You can't let it bring you down. You can't let it stop you. Let it motivate you. Let it push you forward because guess what? Next summer, they're going to be making hot girl jokes about me because I'm going to be slim thick with my cute ass, period. And that's what you have to tell yourself. Next summer, I'm going to be, not even next summer, by October, I'm planning on being how I want to be you know what I mean like think forward think future think yourself think of how you want to feel how you want to wake up in the morning how you want to attack the day think about yourself and all this stuff like how does it affect you how can you get past it moving forward growth all that you know that's that's the most important part of gauging outside criticisms take the good ones trash the bad ones and move forward no matter what don't stop moving forward 
somebody cracks a joke at you, laugh it off. You know, don't argue. Don't argue because people cannot be argued with. They will they will argue to death. Just laugh it off. If it hurts your feelings, don't let it hurt your feelings. <laughs> Just go look in the mirror right after. Tell yourself, you are beautiful, you are loved, and I appreciate you. Like, I love you so much. No matter what anybody says, I love you. I'm taking care of you. I'm living for you. And that's all that matters. What everybody else says, it doesn't matter. It's easier said than done. It is easier than said than done because I'm guilty of wanting to be better and be the bigger person and move forward. But I, when it gets to a certain point, it's like, oh, stop talking to me. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to hear that. But like, you just have to keep it going no matter what. And the more effort and the more work you put in to improving yourself, the more people are going to see that. And they're going to be like, hey, let's catch a workout together. Hey, let's hit the store together. Let's do this together. And when they see you're really serious about yourself and you really take yourself seriously, their 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 vision and their view of you is going to change. And that's what I was talking about intentionally. When you love yourself, other people are going to love you too. When you're doing your best and you're living your best life, other people are going to see that and they're going to be like, hey, do it, girl. Yes, get it. And I'm not saying they're going to feed off your energy, but like it's going to make everything better for you. Because even if they are so negative after you get your life together, you got your life together. You did the damn thing and you should be proud of yourself no matter what. And nobody's going to be able to bring you down at that point because you're going to be like, <laughs> I'm hot shit. Can't nobody tell me nothing. And, you know, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for constructive criticism. But when you get to that point, it's going to feel so good. You're going to be so confident. You're going to be so comfortable in your own body that it's not going to matter what anybody else thinks. Overall, at the end of the day, just love yourself unconditionally. Just love yourself, love the body that you're in, appreciate this life that you have because it's so precious. And I know that firsthand, you know, I lost my dad and life, it made me realize how precious life truly is, how fast time is really going by. And I don't want to miss a dang thing. I want to live my best life. I want to put my best foot forward. And I hope you do too. I hope that you realize what a gift this life is and what a gift your talents are and just everything that you can do in this world and how to improve and be better day after day. Don't forget to look yourself in the mirror today and say, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm working hard for you. And we are going to do this thing. We're going to get this done. We are going to win. That is all I have for this little body shaming part two. I just thought it was so important to talk about body shaming because I've struggled so hard with listening to other people and not listening to myself. And I think once you just blank out all the rest of this noise that's going on, and really focus on yourself you will see so much progress and so much movement and so much growth within yourself and you're gonna look back and be like oh my god who is she she doesn't even go here like i'm a whole new person and i can't wait to show the world that i'm a whole new person don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel welcome and i will see you guys back next time for another video love you so much chasitopians adios Mwah!